Building bridges in America has to start with honest communication. We have to have a clear idea of where we are and where we want to go. And to do that, we have to sit down and communicate uh, all of the goals that we have as a group and have people who are able to mediate and decide what the most efficient plan is to get where we want to go. And when you come to uh, the subject of race in the United States of America, we have to be honest uh, about how we feel or how we see things. And I've always said, you cannot sit there and say that you're not a racist. Because everybody sees things through their own eyes. And if you've been treated white your whole life, then that's how you're going to look at things, from a white perspective. And to change that, you have to actually uh, become an anthropologist. You have to put yourself in situations where you are surrounded by people who see things through minority eyes. And you have to empathize if you can't sympathize and try to understand some of the hurdles that they face that you are not familiar with at all to understand the buildup of frustration when it comes to politics or when it comes to the bureaucracy that continues to ignore the issues. In America, we can sit here and turn our TVs on, and we can see two or three or four different sides to all the racial divide in our country. But usually the person who's viewing it can only see it through their perspective. And that's where you get hung up a lot. Uh, when you see an opportunity to expand someone's understanding, like I did when I said, if you take the wall and make Jesus the one who makes the decisions on how we use a wall uh, to conduct God's work, you quickly will dismiss the wall. It's not applicable. Not in a society that wants to love thy neighbor. And you'll see a lot of people's wheels start spinning as to whether or not this country is the same country uh, that we used to uh, say our Pledge of Allegiance to. Uh, the same country that the Star Spangled Banner was written for. Uh, our country is changing, and it's changing into something that I think is going to turn a lot of people off when it comes to the goal of unity. Um, one area that is complicated to discuss and that I'm very familiar with is interracial relationships. Uh, they're frowned upon in both communities. And people don't realize that because they only see stuff through their community. And they don't realize that the main goal or objective of love is to be shared honestly uh, and combined with affection and acceptance. Uh, so when you have two people uh, from two different backgrounds, uh, the goal is for them to uh, love and be admired by the people around them because of the way that they conduct themselves in a loving manner. Uh, and it's not that way. Uh, you cannot walk around in a community and be proud of your community if they look at people who are from different backgrounds or different races uh, and shun them. And it happens a lot uh, in communities. And it happens a lot uh, in advertising campaigns and other areas of everyday life. So, 
what happens is people try to overcompensate uh, and they try to uh, do a major course correction through advertising campaigns or through speeches or through uh, the way that they treat uh, people who are in a complicated or uh, more varied relationship. And it causes just as much damage. Like when I pointed out the issue uh, with Budweiser. Uh, they tried to do the right thing by enlightening people uh, who are out there that feel isolated uh, from their advertising campaigns and help to make them feel included uh, and try to add that demographic to their portfolio. But they didn't realize uh, the amount of hate or the amount of fear that is in a lot of their consumers towards things they don't understand, uh, like transitional Americans or people who are transgender and things like that. So when they came out and addressed it, they faced a backlash uh, that started on, you know, a major level and venues like music, uh, like television. And pretty soon you had YouTube videos of people in monster trucks showing you how to be as destructive as you could be towards them uh, for simply trying to include a different demographic. And that fear is a very dangerous thing that we don't ever want to invoke because it causes people to uh, start to feed the fire, if you will, uh, like on YouTube videos. And then it ends up uh, getting played out in restaurants or bars or schools where it's become acceptable to show your hate or your disdain for something different than you're used to, and then uh, turn that into violence, which is something that you'll find uh, happens a lot for people who are uneducated. It's one of the main uh, coping skills that they have is to be violent uh, because they don't know what else to do. They don't have a lot of self-control, uh, so they want to be and hit. And, uh, I think a lot of responsibility for that uh, comes from being responsible uh, as the marketing director at Budweiser and trying to think a little bit more about what's going to happen long term uh, before you start to uh, throw things out in society that haven't been thrown out before. Um, a lot of us can remember the soap operas when they first started to uh, include some of the uh, gay couples. Uh, and they lost a lot of ratings because the majority of their consumers are not gay. So on one hand, uh, you applaud them for trying to include a demographic that's isolated and... Uh, needs to feel included but then on the other hand it doesn't really make business sense and it's causing uh, a lot of issues as far as people and backlash or fighting back to try to keep things simple and the way that they've always seen them uh, as normal so we have to gradually work ourselves into these and it's complicated, and sometimes the best thing to do is say, I don't have the answer, uh, but at least I can analyze the situation and try to put some kind of uh, bridge there for people to understand that it's not okay uh, you know, to come out and advertise things that are different without uh, trying to understand the full process of it first. And also, it's an even worse thing for people to come out and advertise violence against homosexuality in re 